everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Um, we're about to uh, set off uh, on, a, on a beautiful walk through uh, the Cotswolds, um, and it's about six and a half miles. Please ask me anything you like along the way. I will do my best to answer everything, um, and if I can't find the answer, I will go and get it afterwards. We're going to go this way. Okay. Yeah, okay. This is an area with enormous number of interesting walks. There are such a large variety and we are so blessed with the number of footpaths that we have. We started in Burford, gateway to the Cotswolds. It's got its magnificent church and it's a wonderful high street. Quite a lot of traffic in it, but uh, if you can see past that, you have this stunning row of old wool merchants' houses trickling down this really quite steep hill towards the River Rindrush at the bottom and its medieval bridge. We then crossed over the bridge, walked up to West Hall Hill, which is a large manor house now and associated buildings. And the views from there back to Burford are really great. We then wandered through Fulbrook. We went to the little Norman church there, which is very beautiful. And we then walked through the fields to the bottom of Upper End, where we had a look at the old jousting field at Night Spill before we headed off into the open Cotswold countryside. There are lots of old paths and cart roads that are not being used by cars, but are very accessible to pedestrians, which is great. We're heading off up that track, so just make your way up there. And they tend to go very helpfully between settlements. So when you're planning a walk, it does mean that you can plan to pass the main points of interest whilst using some of the more beautiful footpaths and historic ways. We walked through some very beautiful rolling fields and into the woodland and then we crossed over some very attractive grazing land before descending into the village of Swinbrook. As you enter the village you've got a lovely old ford. And Swinbrook of course is one of the, the finest and most desirable villages in Oxfordshire I should think. We met the Windrush at Swan Inn. Swan Inn is a, a lovely, very smart pub where you can stop for a very good pint of beer and a really good lunch if you want one as well. But you probably want to book ahead. Yeah. It's a popular place. <laughs> From the pub we walked through Swinbrook and went to its church, which is a very fine church with some beautiful perpendicular windows. And it's most famous for the fact that the Mitford sisters, or, or some of them, grew up in and around Swinbrook. So Swinbrook has this literary attachment. We visited places that really are exceptionally attractive and which are not overly visited by people who come to the Cotswolds. They tend to go to Burford and then head more into the centre of the Cotswolds. Widford is an extraordinary place in that it's all gone, really, apart from the church and the manor house. So you're left with this really delightful Norman church in its idyllic setting in this field. It's just a little gem of a place. The reason it's here is that we're actually standing in a plague village. Whitford was a, a village um, which got badly affected by the plague and basically the only building left standing now is the church. But you can see all these humps and hillocks and bumps and things would have been where all the, the houses would have been. We then have the lovely run in back to Burford, which goes all the way along the River Windrush. Windrush is a beautiful sparkly trout stream and it's just a really delightful walk along it uh, all the way back into Burford. It's a very good circuit. It's just very varied and you get a little bit of everything that's good about the Cotswolds in the one walk and, and it's also very gentle. Yeah, we've had a fantastic time, we've really enjoyed it. We've seen churches, pretty churches, beautiful pubs, lovely villages and incredible scenery everywhere we've gone really and the most incredible red kites we've just seen as we've walked along to some a really wonderful day altogether <laughs>